class says hi, Gabby. So this is another example of solving a differential equation. And the first step we need to do is collect the y's on one side and the x's on the other. So I'm going to get y prime over y equals the square root of x. Remembering that y prime equals dy dx, I can write this as 1 over y times dy dx equals x to the 1 half. Getting rid of that square root symbol because I'm going to have to integrate it anyway. Just like we did before, we're going to multiply each side by dx, and I get 1 over y dy equals x to the 1 half dx. To solve this, we need to integrate both sides. And the integral of 1 over y is the natural log of the absolute value of y. And the integral of x to the 1 half is x to the 3 halves over 3 halves plus c. Let's clean up the right side a little bit before we go on. That's going to be 2x to the 3 halves over 3 plus c. Now we're trying to solve for y, not the natural log of y. So we need to rewrite this in exponential form. Natural log is base e, so we get y equals e to all of this. That's quite the exponent. e to the 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus c. This is all the exponent. Now, here's the tricky move. I'm going to rewrite the right side as e to the c times e to the 2 thirds x to the 3 halves. The reason I can do that, if I have the same base multiplied, we can put them together by adding the exponents, which is what it's over here. And normally, we're used to going from here to this. But in this case, we want to take the fact that these are added, write it this way, because e to the c is a constant. And I can rewrite my differential equation solution then as y equals c times e to the 2 thirds x to the 3 halves. Yes. Just, just drop the absolute value, yep. So again, the trick here is recognizing that when you have this kind of exponent, we can split it up this way. And e to the c, e to some constant, is still a constant, which is where that c comes from.